to the channel everyone we're here at locals at sin city comics and games we're with the first place cameron uh, what was you playing yo guys i was playing sky striker i went um 4-0 um uh, matchups were round one i played uh crusadian mech knight uh round two i played unchained round three i played dino and then round four i played lost geist cool. so yeah i went 4-0 and this is deck so it's a blind go second um, so I'll get straight. So first things off, the hand traps. Play three ash, three imperm, two crow, two vader. So these ones are the best. Um, well, not the best, but like the most generic. Um, I expect like those are elvish today, so I play D crow, and then um, two vader because it's like really generic style. But you need one for the combo with Celine, so I played. Um, I always sided one out when I didn't need it. I only keep one in deck. Cool. Um, so yeah, quite a few hand traps um, because we are going seconds. And then for the rays on the links. Um, in all summons, play two ray, two rows. Um, could play three of this, but I think two is nice. Um, you don't need it as much for ray, so that's why you play five of those. And then one pound top, so you can second. Um, I was playing three cosmic cyclone, but I decided, I decided to take um, take one out of pound top, so I thought it's more like uh, utility. Um, it's good against controls as well, I can bait out in the gate. And then for the striker engine, play. Three, um, sorry, two zero. Um, three is quite bricky because you want to see the engine, but then going zero into the zero sucks. So I thought I'd do two. Um, one monster roll, one drones, two anchor, three shark, two burner, and one jam race. Okay. That was okay. I think I saw this one out quite a lot, uh, especially going first. Um, this one's like it's so good right now, uh, except against Unchanged, which I played for round two. And this card sucks, but um, this one's like really good because obviously like good against Golden Lord, um, good against Salads, good against the Mirror, just generic spot removal in the graveyard. We do obviously it's good. Um, that's technically another raid, but it's good extender when you're like trying to go to access code, which I'll show in a bit. More sure, obviously, and then yeah. So that is the striker engine. Would you change the numbers at all? Um, not the moment. I think um, I could maybe play two of this, but because it's so important for like link climbing. It's yeah. just good to see it as well. Plus it's like really, it's just so strong um, in certain matchups. So that's my play three. And then the wing conditions, one oh. line. I played more on the side. Like, Best card in the game. Yeah, it's so good. I, I literally dropped mine on like seven foot today and just like went. Um, terraforming uh, to get into zero on mine. And then upstart, rotor. And then I hate this card, but it's good. Yeah, it's necessary now. Yeah, um, I think in one of my games that I banished all raids and all uh, remises. So. Really? I, th I think that's the one I use all, which is great. Um, yeah, it's like just good instant draw power because you're just trying to see like you give second cards. So I play two cards in it and then the main deck three evening. Um, evening matching, you just catch people out in the main deck. Um, I think most people like side and judgment out to go first. So main deck in this and then most like, I think 90% of people are going to want to go first anyway. So that's why I decided to go second. I think I changed up last night. I was, I was going to go first and play those like, good trap cards. I like, oh, I can't is, is there any alternative to Desires, or is that like a necessity? Um, it's not a necessity. I was messing around with Extravagance, but I thought that I like in a grand game, you just need all your links. Yeah. Um, but I think Extravagance could work. Um, but Desires is like, it's pretty budget as well. And, uh, it's just instant draw power. And you, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you get lucky. Um, you just got to take that risk. Um, especially with this deck now, because it's so weak. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still really fun to play. So yeah. that is uh, the main deck, 40 cards. And we go on to the extra, so it's just three Kikari, three Shizuku, uh, three Hiyate, one Kaina, uh, one Zeke. So you could play two of this, but I like having a grind, and then that's good against not dying. Then play Hita for Link Climbing, Hulk for Link Climbing, Link Climbing, and then uh, uh, the Wing Club. Yeah, so this card's sick. I just summoned it like loads of names, so popped. Blew up the field. Celine combo is so nice. Yeah, it's so good. Um, so that is the extra deck. So I wouldn't change much. If I'm it's quite tight to be fair. Yeah, it? it is quite tight. Um, and then for the side deck, really straightforward. Three mine, and um, tie two mine. So we got one in the main deck, so it's three all together. I only started seeing against decks that really struggle. Yeah. Um, against like Altergeist and like Simon Great, they can pop it easy with like, the traps and stuff, so I leave it. Um, the third Psycho for the Eldritch. Um, three Ogre for the Zexal plays, uh, then one DD Crow. Uh, it's good against like Graveyard decks, um, and it gives Eldritch Storm. And then this is like Wild of Fire Striker because they can like choose to go first and then play like the crazy good trap cards. Yeah, you did tell me about um, this before. Which is three Judgment, two Strike, and then three.
three uh, they can be. So I was, originally I was playing these guys in the main, but I thought that if I go second, everyone wants to go first anyway. So just blow them out with like these these cards, and then um, and then it's like trick people to think I'm from second and sliding these, and it worked. So yeah, um, that's crazy. Yeah, really fun deck. If anyone wants to pick them up, they read like most of them are common sound anyway. So how um, easy is it to climb into the access code combo? Uh, it's easy, but I don't think you need to do it all the time. Like, yeah. Um, you need, ideally, you need either a Widow Anchor plus a Shark Cannon or two Shark Cannons because you yeah. normally take the, the Link 2s and then you start climbing up and then because okay. obviously access code token needs different attributes but then all the Shark cards are like different attributes so it gets, yeah. like, it gets like three or four pops. That's um, crazy. But like most of the time you can just control with, with like Shizuku and with the time traps. And obviously the recurrence to Kigari at 3 is insane because you just have to be able to the field, Kigari it back and get it back and then do the same again next turn. That's crazy. So yeah, it's really fun. I'll, I'll probably not play it for a while and pick it up in like 3 months. That's fair. So yeah, but uh, I thought I'd just try it out today and it went really well. So. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? Um, not at the moment. Shout out obviously some City Games. Um, I'm Brandon will probably leave a link to my uh, YouTube channel in the description. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks Brandon as well for the depth profile. Brilliant.